The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Today we're going to take a look at an all-new boat from Beneteau, the Flyer Gran Turismo 44. We're going to put it on a full performance review and see how she handles. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. One thing that really makes a difference in this boat's performance is the patented air step hull. Beneteau has found a unique way of adding air under the running surface while increasing that running surface at the same time and the results are extraordinary through a wide spectrum of handling characteristics. So let's get to the systems first, starting with the power plants. Accessing the engine compartment is quite easy and starts by raising the tender garage. Obviously we're in boat show mode storing the life jackets, but you can clearly see that underneath we also have easy access to the twin Volvo Penta D6 370 horsepower engines. Looking at the engine compartment you can clearly see that the daily engine checks will be a no-brainer. There's your dipsticks. Oil change filters will be easy as well. Once at the helm, I've got a very comfortable position. Plenty of analog gauges, including my all-time favorite, the rudder angle indicator. And plenty of room in the center for our E120 widescreen display. Just about to the engine controls, you've got shutoffs for your fuel and engine shutoffs. Very happy with how the engine controls are mounted on the horizontal, and they're adjusted in the right position so your hand falls to it naturally. Joystick just behind. Now, in the seated position, there's a comfortable footrest, but I'd like to see it be a little bit higher, and I would also like to see a flip-down footrest so that I can put my feet in this position. Now, let's get to the test numbers and the performance. Our test boat had a length overall of 44 feet 3 inches, a beam of 12 feet 11 inches, and a draft of 2 feet 4 inches. With an empty weight of 19,616 pounds, full fuel, full water, and three people on board, plus test gear, we had a test weight of just over 22,300 pounds. With the twin 370 horsepower Volvo Penta D6 diesel engines turning DPH out drives, we reached a top speed of 33 knots at 3450 RPM. At that speed, we were burning only 19.9 gallons per hour for a range of 315 nautical miles. Best cruise came in at 3000 RPM and 27.2 knots. Now we were burning a very economical 13.5 gallons per hour for a range of 384 nautical miles. These are very impressive numbers that speak volumes about the success of the airstep hull design. However, you can only measure economy, you can't really feel it. What you can feel is the quick acceleration and time to plane. On the 44, I measured a time to plane of only 5.9 seconds and we reached 30 miles per hour in 14 seconds in a 44 foot boat and it only gets better. On accelerating, the 44 comes up about 13 degrees on the bow but I don't lose any visibility and it really gets on plane very quickly thanks to the air stop hull. Comes down to about five degrees of bow high, so I've got good visibility throughout the acceleration curve. Now as you can see, very large windshield, good visibility out the sides, but the problem is the blind spot on the window moyens. They're rather large, so I have to keep looking from side to side to make sure that I don't have any small boats coming into my blind spot here. As I'm running the boat from the standing position, the hard top is coming down just to the point where it's above the horizon line for me, so that's not too comfortable for me. Take a seat and you'll be a little bit better. Let's bring the bolster up. Okay, this is much better. Bring the bolster up, lean back against the seat. Now I'm down low enough where I've got the good visibility. Here's a really good turning example. Notice how the 44 doesn't bleed off speed or fall off plane in this tight turn. I see no need to adjust the outdrive trim on this boat. The trick is get it up on plane, bring the bow down till the trim tabs indicate about that one half position. That's where you're gonna find your optimum performance. And it's gonna be the most comfortable. I've got great visibility. The bow is at just about a five degree bow high attitude. Overall, I have to say that the 44 is one of the best handling boats that I've been on in class. It comes up on plane so quickly, it responds to the helm so quickly, and it is such a comfortable boat to operate. Well, that's our full test and performance review of the Flyer Gran Turismo 44 by Beneteau. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.